What happened to the smartest kid in your class? Works in Tesco stacking shelves. He was an aerospace engineer but he had some mental health issues and just couldn't take the pressure. Super smart and really nice guy, but always struggled socially. I believe he works for NASA. He deleted his Facebook a while ago like the smartest kid in our class would do, but that's what he was doing last I checked. He got sick with a rare stomach disease and isn't doing too good. He just accepted a full professorship at a big university in the States. Particle physicist. Also my bestie. One is an anesthetist, one is a pediatric cardiologist, and the other was CFO of a major bank in our home country before moving to Switzerland to work in finance there. Died from a brain tumor right after he graduated high school. He was dang smart. Could play the piano upside down too. There are two. I remember one of them crying when they got an A on a test in like 7th grade. One of them the one who cried is an executive in a Fortune 500 company. Nothing special but making a lot of money. The other one is a brain surgeon. After never having even smoked a cigarette or drank alcohol in high school, straight as all the way through, he got a full ride to a really good university. As a freshman he dropped acid, walked out in front of a car and was killed. Went to a big college. Got a degree in tech. Now makes six figures and owns a townhouse outside of Baltimore. He lives with his grandmother mainly. Smokes a shitload of weed. Flies a girl from Colorado to fuck and smoke with. I married his sister. He moved to Poland and became a molecular biologist. He went to MIT, works for Apple, and has a very expensive home in California. He also has a wife and four kids and seems to be very happy. I remember he was programming games in high school and was valedictorian. A big nerd who became a wealthy big nerd. Disappeared into a shadowy government job. Poof gone. Edit while this exploded, almost like the US government headhunts like any other business I guess, playful face. That was me. Ducks or valedictorian of my high school. Voted brainiest by my peers for the school yearbook. Highest university entrance grades of my school. Quintessential nerd. I went into chemical engineering, because that was the degree brainy kids did. I was okay at the job, but never great. Bounced around across five different manufacturing companies, mostly in entry-level positions or close to it. Has some mild successes, got a few promotions. Got made redundant a lot. Finally secured a management position after 10 years. And realized I absolutely hated every aspect of the job. Did a lot of soul searching. It really was a massive shock to my system that I had failed at something that was meant to be for the smart people. Took a lot for me to redefine my identity without smart being at the heart of it. These days I teach chemistry at the local high school. I absolutely love it. Kind of regret that I turned my nose up for years because I was too smart to be a teacher. But I can't change the past, so all that's left to do is learn from it. My best friend at the time we drifted apart and speak only rarely now. He got a PhD. At Harvard, studied science in Antarctica, and now teaches at an Ivy League university. Guy had three scholarship offers, lasted one year in uni before jumping off a building. Feel sorry for him and his family. Dropped out of college to marry and support the much younger woman he got pregnant. Now 30 years later owns a board game store with a large back room for many painting and games and plays dad to half the neurodivergent kids in town. Still married to the same woman too. It's not a high flying life but he makes a difference to so many people. Edit, while this blew up. To make y'all feel better he was 23 I think and she was 18, a big age gap when you're young. It was also in the Netherlands, where at least at the time I've been gone a while we didn't really care so much as long as it wasn't a 10 year difference or one of them was under 15. Teenagers have sex drives, it happens. He was smart enough to never associate with people from high school, again. He has never attended a reunion and it's been over 30 years. I had such a big crush on her and told her. We dated, 
she moved across country to study and is now a doctor. So proud of her even though our lives changed paths. He went to Harvard Law School then moved back and created a startup that helps make healthcare accessible in disadvantaged communities. Was a great guy then and great guy now. He is currently an aerospace engineer who played a big role in the engineering of the Canada Arm. Had a full ride through Berkeley. Ended up experimenting a lot with hallucinogens. Started to believe he was a star child or star seed and was from another planet. Ended up starving himself in a national park to die with the earth so he could meet other star children. Fucking miss and love you buddy. Edit it has come to my attention there is a Berkeley and a Berkeley. He was the smartest kid, not me lol. So I'm updating this to add the correct college. Unfortunately, the smartest kid in my class in middle school ended his life in 8th grade. He was also a brilliant violinist, I was his stand partner in orchestra. I was proud to be his brother's stand partner in high school. Rest in peace Connor. When I was in middle school, we had a super smart kid join later on in the semester that was always teased because he was above everyone else mentally. I think in 8th grade he was doing 10th or 11th grade mathematics. Any test that he took he passed with flying colors hardly even studying. He befriended me. I was kinda quiet in middle school because of stuff going on at home. His mom always made me an extra sandwich whenever she made his lunch. I lost contact after graduation but a few years later when I was a sophomore in college I decided to look him up on Facebook and couldn't believe what I saw. There was my friend the Brainiac smoking salvia out of a huge bong as his profile picture. I think he had to take it down because when I looked him up again he had pics of him drinking out of a funnel. She's a professor at Oxford University. She moved to Florida and works for Disney. She went to med school, far as I know her life is good, man shrugging. Edit for everyone saying med school sucks, she graduated so at least that's over and done with lol. The smartest kids I knew in school turned to alcohol. And doing really dumb shit maybe not all but quite a few. The bullies didn't amount to anything either. The mediocre ones in the middle were the ones that had successful careers and normal lives. Edit let me correct my post. She married the now second richest man. It's hard to keep up with the billionaires and how fast their interest doubled their wealth over the pandemic, rolling eyes face. She married the now richest man in the world. Divorced him and is now the fourth richest human. Not bad.